Okay, this next one here, we'll show you how to make this fun little vase here. So this is what it looks like. I'll use this play button up here on top just to give you a second to orientate yourself what it looks like. If it comes on here. All right, hopefully you get the gist here. This is what we're gonna try and create. So we'll create a new part. And I'm gonna to have to go to view. <coughs> Turn these on in my view modes. Make sure that the view modes has those set. I don't like to shade with edges here. And then we'll make the part body the in work object. I'll do a sketch. Ah, let's turn this off. I'm going to go to the spline command and I'm going to build a simple spline. So you just click a point and then move your cursor and it kind of just follows wherever you go until you click a point and two points will create a line and a third point will start building an arc. And then a fourth point will start building a spline and then you can make however many crazy points you want and then I just do four and hit escape. <clears throat> I'm going to exit the sketch. And we will go into the model tab. And I'm going to use the shaft uh, shaft command. <clears throat> Under the shaft command, uh, I'm going to use the Y axis as a rotation. It's not going to like this. Let's double click the shaft, or no, let it come back. It's mm, looking for a closed profile. I don't have that, but see this one right here? This is a good opportunity for me to show you how to use thickness. So when I click on this one, I can make it a certain thickness. Let's try a quarter inch thick and see what it looks like. Whoops. I hit enter. I didn't mean to hit enter, but it's okay. I can rotate this around. You can see that it made the offset a quarter inch for the material. Okay. <clears throat> So that's what it looks like at a quarter inch. Just for kicks, let's double click the shaft and try and change it to a different thickness. Let's go half inch. All right, see what it looks like there. And I could go to one inch and thicken that up even more. <clears throat> Come on. Let's change this to one inch thick. Okay, so you get kind of idea what it's doing here at one inch thick. I'll change this back something really small to like an eighth inch thick. Okay, now let's say you want to fill in the bottom. Everything looks good, you want that same thickness, but you want this base to have a bottom on it. I can go to my sketch. Eat cats. Uh, I can create a line. <clears throat> Let's create a line from this endpoint to about here. And I wanna make sure it's straight. When I exit out, what's gonna happen is it's gonna fill that area in, see that? Why is that hole there? Well, I need some water to come out of this space. But why is that hole there? When I go to my sketch one, this line didn't go all the way to the y axis. 
So if I grab that point, drag it down to there, and hit exit, it will automatically fill that area in. So there you have this uh, vase, and it's very easy to make. Uh, without the shaft or revolution command, that would be kind of a pain to build. Okay, So anything that has a center axis that has something that's revolving, this would be a good example for this uh, particular feature. Okay, so again, I just demoed the feature called shaft. It used to be called revolution, <clears throat> but these are shafts. Um, in V5, even they called it a shaft. So it's just like you would have done on V5. It's very, very similar for those of you trying to switch and convert V5 to 3D experience. Let's try something else. So if I go to sketch one, if I create a <clears throat> profile from this line and go straight up and come straight over and hit escape, if I exit, I bet it's not going to like this. It doesn't like the shaft anymore because it's something to do with the sketch and it's just going to be gone. That's why it's always important to see your tree and see what's going on. When you see these yellow explanation points, this is something it doesn't like. So, double click the sketch. What I need is a closed profile. If I select trim or quick trim, I can remove this line out and analyze this to see if it's a closed profile. Oops, I didn't constrain it, but it is closed. So when I exit out, <clears throat> Now you got a solid part with a hole in the middle. So maybe you have a handle or, handle or something, and then a rope or pin or something's going through that. That's how you would do that. All right, so that was a quick demo on the shaft command. I'll just hit, I guess, play. Maybe it'll rotate it around better. Right now, my computer is not responding very quickly oh, maybe my mouse is dying maybe I need a new battery I'm not sure what's going on why my mouse is so slow to react when I'm clicking on things okay so you can go ahead and give that part a shot and uh, I'll come back and do another demo here on it